I first heard about the program from a friend who I trusted, who reached out to me and said, I have just done this class. It is the best thing that I've ever done. My business has grown exponentially. You've got to do it. And India happened to be at the house that evening. And I said, hey, I'm going to this intro. Do you want to come with me? And she's like, sure. So innocently, casually, we get into my car. We do the 30-minute drive to the program. Looking back at it, I think a lot about what would have happened if we just didn't go to the intro. You know, Catherine, um, part of the series, you talk about how uh, I think you guys all went to Tulum. Um, and you were saying on some of your trips together that she just wasn't there. And did you ever see when she was losing all that weight? I knew she was thin. She looked gaunt. She seemed really tired. She didn't, she seemed serious. She didn't, she didn't have that spark in her eyes that she normally has. And my mom was there. We were both discussing it. And I felt like, I felt this weight in my heart. But at that point, I didn't know what to do. And, and they had her on a really short leash. Like she was allowed to come for three days. And then literally they whisked her back to Albany. Um, so you had the feeling that she was free, but ultimately she really wasn't free. No, all. and that was also done on purpose. Mm -hmm. I mean, for, for instance, they want you to believe that you're free. Yeah. And the truth is you're not because of the collateral. And you're being blackmailed while you're being told that what you're doing is good for you. Explain how that went down. They ask you for damaging information about yourself and people that you love, and you give it to them thinking that this is for you and your own ability to keep your word to the group. And I gave, I gave Allison information that was very serious to me personally, for my family, for myself, and I knew that I was never going to say anything. I knew that in myself, that I would never talk and that she wouldn't need to threaten me with the release of the collateral because I love my family and I care about them. And the last thing I wanted to do was hurt them. So they actually use the very thing that you care about most to trap you there. And that's one of the more, more disturbing parts about it. Did you mention that it was the, the collateral that was your admission to, to DOS? Yeah, before you were yeah. even allowed to be before you were yet. even allowed to be in DOS, you had to give a sufficient enough amount of blackmail, yeah. Yeah. which is what I want to call it, because that's what it is. Mm -hmm. But collateral, in order to be allowed into DOS, so that they knew that you were stuck there. And then yeah. you then you get into DOS, and your first task is you have to uh, go to Ranieri's place and you have to seduce him um, and get naked in front of him. And uh, Allison Mack, who is your master, is making you do this. Uh, but then also there's this whole branding thing where you had to get branded uh, with a, a, a pen cauterizer, which basically is burning your skin. They use it in a, a surgical instrument. You got branded, and then you had to stand there and watch others who were supposedly in this elite DOS group get branded also. I mean. How was that? I mean, that was an out-of-body experience, like something I have never experienced in my life. And there is nothing to compare to the pain of the cauterizing pen. 